the offender doesn't want to discuss it or doesn't want to make the relationship right, well, then Jesus gives us another step. Then we call to include someone else. Then and only then. After we've been through this, we've tried to work it out, it's still not resolved, can't be resolved. Then the Bible says, Jesus says, get someone else involved. Take a witness. These witnesses, can I say, are there for the same reason of what we just discussed. They are there. Uh, they are to go in the first step to bring reconciliation. All right. So they're not there to take your side or their side. They're there. So be careful who you're choosing. No people on your side. Rather, how can we bring reconciliation? It's not a gang up on the person. In fact, we should involve, I think, others only when going alone did not bring a healing. And this other person, I believe, should be someone who can help keep emotions in check, help clarify the issues as we work together for reconciliation. So first, have a private conversation. Second, take someone who might help resolve the disagreement. And then again, if that doesn't bring resolution, then Jesus gives us a third step. One that is the most drastic is involved or taken to the church. Now, it doesn't mean you get up in the pulpit on Sunday and ask, can I use your forum and tell everyone? I believe what he's saying there. Notice he doesn't make say, he does not specifically say, make it, uh, yeah, I've said that, make an announcement from the pulpit. In some extreme cases, I guess that has to come eventually. Uh, especially if it's continual confirmed unconfessed sin with a church leader. But I believe the first step here is to gather some wise folk from the church and let them hear both sides. So again, try to help work out reconciliation. Okay, so if you've had the individual private conversation, brought one another person, brought the same wise folk in again, brought in some wise folk again for the church, what if that doesn't work? Well, sadly, let's be real. We live in a world that is not perfect. Some conflicts will happen. And they will not be resolved. And that and only then, fourth step, is where Jesus says, break off the relationship with them. And again, friends, I don't believe you should get rid of them and write them off, but break off your relationship. You cannot reach an agreement or even agree to disagree, which I think most people can. But if you then have to be called for separation, Jesus said, treat them as a pagan or a tax collector. Doesn't mean treat them like a scoundrel. <laughs> How do you feel? How did Jesus feel about pagans and tax collectors? Jesus loved pagans and tax collectors. He walked in love with them in hope of winning them over. And so if you have someone you refuse to be reconciled to, ask yourself these questions. Do I long to be reconciled? Do I still act in love with this person? Um, if so, then you're doing your part. It's now up to that other person. And conflict does happen. And I believe we need to learn how to handle dealing with conflict while walking in love. 